Avengers Infinity War is directed by the Russo brothers and is the culmination of absolutely everything that has happened in the MCU in the past 10 years. It stars basically everyone and is about Thanos, a galactic warlord who aims to unite six Infinity Stones to gain power over half the universe. And the Avengers, who have already encountered five of these stones, attempt to stop him. This film blew me away. If you know the typical Marvel formula, the film gives you everything you love from your normal Marvel film. The humour, the action, the characters, it gives you everything you love. But it then delivers by absolutely miles more. And the third act, it becomes something completely different to a Marvel film in an absolutely incredible way. The performances are brilliant. I thought Thanos, especially played by Joss Brolin, who despite the fact the performance was a motion capture, you could just pick up the tiniest details from the motion capture and those details were what made his performance and I thought Josh Brolin did a really great job as Thanos. Speaking of Thanos, Thanos is one of the best villains in the MCU because to him, he is a hero and the Avengers are a villain. I will not explain his motives as I feel that is spoiler territory but because we are viewing the film from the Avengers perspective, he's the villain and the Avengers are the heroes. And I thought that dynamic was really clever and that added a lot to Thanos as a character. Because he is the newest character, he really is almost the only person with any character development. Not many people actually get character development, but they've all had their development in previous films. And that is one advantage of this being a culmination of the MCU. But what I'm saying is, Thanos was a brilliant villain and I loved his dynamic with him thinking he was doing the right thing. And Marvel has also solved their third act problem where it's just a mindless, big, long CGI battle. Sure, there are lots of battles throughout the film, but the third act, I will get on to what I love about the third act later, and it is my favourite thing about the film. They completely knocked the third act especially out of the park. I salute Marvel heavily for what they did with their film in the last 50 minutes. And another thing I really liked about the film was that there's so many moments that give you goosebumps of just pure heroism or fear of Thanos, but it's mostly of heroism. And I won't say anything. Those moments are just littered throughout the film and they are really awesome to see and I loved those moments. And my second favourite thing was how well all the characters play against each other, e.g. Thor and Star-Lord have a very funny and interesting dynamic between each other and that works really well. And Iron Man and Star-Lord also have an interesting dynamic. Iron Man and Doctor Strange have another dynamic that's very intriguing. But just all the characters coming together, all these heroes you've loved from the past 10 years, coming together in one mooding and watching them interact is one of the most enjoyable things I've seen in a long, long time. Now, this is my favourite thing about the film. Absolutely nothing can prepare you for the most shocking ending and cliffhanger I've ever seen in the film. Last 10 minutes, my jaw was dropped. What Marvel did in the last 10 minutes absolutely shocked me, and I'm sure it will shock you. I did not expect this at all. And the cliffhanger, whilst it is really annoying, because we have to wait another year for the next one, but it's the most perfect cliffhanger in the world, and... It's just the most shocking ending ever. Please go to this film without hearing any spoilers. That is how you experience the ending for what it's meant to be. And one scene in particular about an hour and ten minutes into the film was really emotional. And the rest of the film, it's mostly that scene I've just mentioned. I was really surprised. It was a shocking scene and a very emotional one. I was really surprised how far Marvel went with the emotion for that scene. And my last pro is that... I thought the music was really, really good. They retained the theme and they tweaked the theme partly for the credits and I really loved that tweak. It's very atmospheric. And if you go to this film without knowing any spoilers, especially the third act, it, the whole film is very, very atmospheric. However, I'm sad to say I have one problem with the film and that is the first 40 minutes of the film are a bit slower than the rest of the film but that is a lot of the explaining what's happening and where all the characters are. Those first 40 minutes are just a bit slower than the rest of the film and it took a while and it took a little bit longer to get going. But that is my only flaw with the film and Avengers Infinity War is the best film I've seen this year and it undoubtedly gets 5 star out of 5. That ending is the most shocking thing I have seen. 
The last minute of the film, I had my arms in the air. I, I was the very definition of George Ropped in those last ten minutes. And a few quick notices. I would say stay around right to the very end of the credits because there is one post credit scene and that happens to be right at the end of the credits. I would say it is quite important for some upcoming films. And I saw the film in 3D and I would say, especially the second act, the 3D was quite good. So if you're wondering about the 3D, I would recommend it actually for the second act mostly. And also guys, I have just noticed this. Thank you very much for 10 subscribers. I've noticed how well my Ready Player One and Rampage videos have been doing. And thank you a lot for the support on those videos. So that's my review of Ended Infinity War, guys. Five stars out of five. I know this film is going to make all the money in the world. But go see it. You will love it whether you've been up to date with the MCU or not. That was my review of Avengers Infinity War, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and goodbye.